Hi and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I will show you how to use this ID expiration tracker application. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn the super easy steps how to use this expiration tracker application that explains the following. How to navigate the form. Adding a data in the table. Updating a data in the table. Without further ado, let's get started. The form has the following information, 1. Employee name. 2. ID or badge number. 3. Card number. 4. Expiry date. 5. Status. Below the form has the following numerical summary that shows the 1. Total number of expired cards, 2. Total number of cards for renewal, 3. Total number of cards that are still valid. At the left bottom part of the form is the search navigation that has search box and two drop down list boxes with corresponding filter categories for job titles and status of the cards. Click the image to pop out the information of the selected employee. You will see the contact details and other information of the employee in this form. To add data click the navigation pane at the left side to displays all objects and hit the TBL main table. Once the table pops out scroll all the way down to the until new ID appears at the left side column and start the data entry. To update a data in the table, click the selected employee or ID to be updated. You can add image using the table at the attachment column. This is the end of the video tutorial, looking forward that you have learned how to get around with this new application in Microsoft Access. Thank you and bye for now.